Hello designers and welcome back to design school for WordPress beginners and in this video I'll show you how you can make your website really cool by adding subtle animations and if you're new here consider subscribing there's a lot more coming in the near future so stay tuned and let's get into the video animation is nothing but changing the property of an element such as background color text size the border border radius and all that properties from one point to another point and I'll show you what I exactly mean so in the first animation that I'm going to show you is this in which the element changes its background color moves around twice and comes back to the original position with original properties well how did I do that don't worry don't panic the first thing is to pick the element that you want to animate I want to animate this column so I'll select this I'll remove the custom CSS which was responsible for the animation the first thing that you need to type is selector so that will select whichever element that you clicked and under advanced custom CSS first type selector opening parenthesis and closing parenthesis don't worry you don't have to type anything I'll leave everything in the description down below so the first thing that you want to do is to give an initial property or initial background color so I want to make this section look pink initially so when you type background it will give me background color and I'll give it an initial color and the next thing I want to do is give animation a name so let's call it play as we are playing with the animation and the second thing is animation delay if you want the animation to start after some time maybe after two seconds and then perform you can do that and the next thing is animation duration for how long the animation should perform so this will determine the rate at which animation is performed if you give smaller number here such as 4 seconds or something animation will be quicker and if you give 40 here animation will be really slow so it's all up to you and the next thing that you want to do is to add, uh, add animation iteration count it's basically specifying how many times you want the animation to happen or occur so if you specify 2 the animation will play twice that's great and the last thing that you want to do is to add animation direction so if you want the animation normally you don't have to bother about it but if you want to change the way in which animation is played you need to specify in which direction or in which way the animation should be performed and don't worry and I'll explain the next step so we are done with the first part once you add the animation name duration and all the related properties the next thing that you want to add is keyframes so if you know Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro you know what keyframes are they are basically the points in your animation so at this point you specify which properties you want your element to have so I need to type at the rate keyframes again you don't have to type anything everything will be in the description down below and the next thing that you want to say is play which is basically the name of the animation so keyframes in CSS are mentioned in the form of percentages so by 0% I mean when the animation just starts and by 25% I mean when the animation reaches a quarter of its duration and when I type 50% it means when the animation reaches halfway through and the next thing when I type 75% is when the animation reaches 3 quarters of its duration and the next thing is when the animation completes so these percentages specify keyframes and at each point you specify what kind of property you want that element to have so I want to change the initial color to red and then I want the background color to be blue and then at 50% I want the background color to be green and at 75% I want my background color to be um, red again and 
finally when the background when the animation is almost complete i want my background color to be black and once it finishes all the animations it returns to its initial color so let's see how that looks black finally done yes since i've specified the animation iteration count to 2 it will play this animation twice and uh, you you could have clearly s seen that the background color changes from red blue green red again and finally black and then it returns to its initial color that's great now i want to change the position of the column as well so initially i want to i want the column to be where it actually was initially so i'll specify left as 0 and i'll specify top which means the distance that it should be from the top i want it to be at its own position and when the animation reaches 25 percent i want it to move a bit onto the left so i want to have a 200 pixels i want to move the block onto the left by 200 pixels and i don't want to move it vertically at this point so i'll specify this and at 50 percent i want it to move down so so let's see how that looks that's great and at 75 percent i want it to return to its original position and And finally, at 100%, I want it to be at its original position. So left and top distances should be 0 pixels respectively. And let's see how that looks. Goes down, comes up. Once, twice. Done. So that's how it actually is. I'll leave the code in the description down below. and this particular generic code is for most browsers and you need to add two more prefixes such as moz and webkit and those prefixes will help the animation play on firefox and safari based browsers as well don't worry don't get too geeky i just wanted to type and show you how and what kind of values so you can add any percentage that you want here so you can have animation at 35%, 67%, 100%, anything between 0 and 100 and you can also increase the duration of the animation so that the animation will be slower and more visible and you can also change the animation iteration count to infinite so the animation will loop forever and so it just it will just keep on playing so the element will keep on moving based on the specifications that you just gave so that's the first animation that can be achieved using custom CSS and the next animation I want to show you is the text that increases and decreases like this one right here you can see the text gradually returns to its original state of 19 pixels so I'll show you how to do that the first thing that you need to add is of course selector and color specifies the color of the text and this particular type of animation can be applied to any widget that has text mostly text editor widget and heading widget in Elementor so click on this go to advanced go to custom CSS and you type selector color black again you don't have to type anything and font size specifies the size of the text and I've given animation name I called it example 1 I gave it duration of 8 seconds 
I gave the duration a bit longer so that we can clearly see how it's getting animated. If you make the duration less, the animation may not seem that subtle. So make sure you adjust the duration or increase the key frames. Add more percentages in between so that the animation will be smooth. So at 0%, I want my font to be at 12 pixels and at 25%, that is when the animation reaches quarter duration. I want the size to be 22 pixels. And at 50%, I want my font size to be this. And at three quarters of my duration, I want the font size to gradually return to the normal size. So that's how it should look like. And let's see how that animation is again. Okay. It becomes big, small, small, and then it returns to its original size. That's great. And this type of animation can be added to text that begs for user attention. And when the text size increases and decreases, it will attract user attention. And this is one of the most common animations found on many websites. So make sure you add that. And the next animation that I want to show you is this. There is a property called box shadow that does what it exactly says it increases the shadow of this particular element and reduces it so i want to animate it using custom css i do it the same way i select the column go to advanced click on custom css i give it some initial values animation name duration and iteration count for how long i want this to occur i add a keyframes with the name of animation and at zero percent I want to have a property called box shadow, which is two pixels horizontal and two pixels vertical. So it's this and this direction. And at 25, I want the box shadow to increase to slightly larger horizontal and vertical lengths and so on. So I've added one, two, three, four, five keyframes and the box shadow keeps increasing and initially returns to zero because i didn't specify any property here but now i will i'll call initial property two pixels two pixels and i'll give it blue so this will how this is how the animation will look like when you add it it's very subtle your users will barely notice it and there it is and it adds that neat little shadow and finally it returns to the property specified here again you don't have to type anything and these are some of the common animations found on many websites i'll be making videos on each and every animation that i find are helpful and if you found this video helpful make sure you click that like button subscribe to my channel so that i'll make more amazing videos for you and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't worry. Everything will be in the description down below. Make sure you check that out. And happy designing. Talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.